All right, welcome to the three times or a direct strike weekly brawling match request. It is going to be Stutman this time, ladies and gentlemen. So I am keeping an eye on the poll. So feel free to request whatever commander is up and I will try and make a video on it and get it up within 24 hours of seeing the request. Might be a little longer because I don't want to put out too many episodes in one day. I mean, obviously you guys would love it if you can binge watch like three or four hours of this, but... For channel sake and sanity, I think we might do like two or three max a day. Maybe four plus whatever live I might do. So definitely might be a little bit delay in terms of the episode releases, but I'll try my best. So, Stedman. I am thinking armor and life regen on Stedman could be very good. If we do Zergling shenanigans with life regen, plus the life 10 life bonus for... Uh, Stubman's units, that could actually be very Inbound. good, so, I don't know yet, we shall see, I mean, we're definitely going to do the Zergling spam enough. initially, and then we'll get the Haka up here, I think we're going to make the Haka a dip, an offensive for Stubman, so we'll do Leap and Roar, Life flights here. and then, we don't want any tech yet, I just want to All alright, let's see, Auras, Cooldown would be interesting. Go life and armor. And then let's go cooldown. Okay, so we do sort of have a tanky stepman. We get double cooldown, so that means we can blow our abilities off non-stop. We're gonna get devoured. Reverse is a Tychus too, so that is gonna get very interesting. All right, let's get our turrets down. Let's get the Zergling tech along with the second gas, and then we'll go T2 for Gary. I am definitely going to leave it on um, life regen. Talk to me. We need hardened armor, and then we'll get the claws when we get T3. Double Tychus? Okay. That's gonna get interesting. We need Baylings to help deal with that. Only good thing is the Haka can eat Mangus's Aegis Guard. So we have one armor, no damage, but we do have insane cooldown. So cooldown will benefit Gary, Corruptors, Lurkers, Roaches, etc., and our Ultras. All right, that gave us the bunker, and we did leap on top of Tychus, so he took some damage. The Galleons are going to be better late game. Hopefully, he's going on Reapers. Okay, that's interesting. Go T2. We are going to need some Balins for Tychus. Uh, go bailing. We need that too. All right, we need another roar. Life flights here. Definitely gonna need bailings. Good, we killed one Tychus. Alright, we got T2. We need okay. Gary now. Okay. Definitely need Gary. Only downside is he does have a series up, so... And he's Detonator series. They got Vega already, too, so that's going to be really problematic. Alright, there's Gary. And we can do some more bailings to help versus Tychus. Bye bye bunker. Give me one weapons. Okay. 
is cooldown working on Globe? I don't think it is. Lurkers would be really good, so would roaches. Don't need corruptors. Alright, let's do lurker. That'll help versus Tychus. Let's get jump. Life flights here. Yeah, cooldown is well. Oh yeah, spike algorithm with cooldown reduction that'll work really well. Research Can we get one more up? Not before the wave, unfortunately. Not enough minerals. Workers are working. All right, we're gonna switch to Aragon region because we need it for workers' abilities. Unfortunately, with insane cooldown, we need the, um, the ability to spawn more. Yeah, it's 75, so... These guys have spine needles, so it's these. Upgrade complete. Yeah, 33 versus armor. Okay, Can we get cannon? No, but we definitely new Tyke is pretty hard. <laughs> definitely gonna pop another Bailey. We are going to try getting the gas since we're across. Yeah, we're across. We got the mineral bonus, so let's get the gas. Can the Cyclones do enough keeps? Let's do one more. We'll cut through Tychus a little faster. Oh, can't do a double Tychus. I'm support. I'm good at support. Not, uh, we need Ultras too. Battle Lords would be very good, but not versus a Vega. Make the hockey team. More bailings. Make things go boom boom. Can 
Come on, terror. Don't need cloak detection. No more lurker. I know we need T. We need T three. Vega is countering the galleon so hard. We need the galleons to stay alive with the um, swan wave, and then we got it. Alright, we are gonna push T3. I think we can push T3. Blaze messes up the Zerglings for sure. The terror algorithms will mess up Pikes. Yeah, as long as we have frontline tanks, we can definitely do some shenanigans. A shock tank too. That's gonna. That's gonna hurt a little. Investors with cooldown should be really good. God, yeah, double over two spawn. Aragon, yeah. Life, life, that could work. On my way. Crash some bailings into Mingfus. No more reinforcements, more root. Zerglings! Alright, let's start getting some armor upgrades. Should be fire breath too. Yeah, we just need units. Now what? Pike is, yeah, he's got all series with shock tank supports. This is bad. This is very, very bad. Not enough minimums. Probably missed it, but we're gonna get lead. Bye bye. That's a GG. Yeah. Shock tanks got us. Minions. Could go super Gary for 800, but I don't think it's going to make a difference at this point. Swan's tanks would be phenomenal right now. Min 
max weapons, maybe. See, the problem is, we can toss roaches, but Tychus' blaze is like killing them instantly. We get through Blaze, we're good. Not enough minerals. Understood. We just need to get through to Haka and Blaze. Pushing? Maybe. Do I want to get ultras? Get detection. Right, we got a reposition. Oh, we took the bunker. Sweet. Position the bailing over here. Pickup. Oh my god, ultras with cooldown reduction? Am I gonna be bouncing around like crazy? GG. Damn, I didn't think we would win that one. <laughs> that one threw me for a loop ball. Wow. Yeah, it worked. All right, I'll take it. <laughs>